Welcome everyone. This iPhone on the left is a fake iPhone. This one on the right is a real iPhone. In fact, that's not true. This is the real iPhone. This is the fake. It's extremely hard to tell the difference, but in this video, I will go into detail on every single check you can do to spot if your iPhone is original or fake. This will apply for all iPhone models. I first want to cover some heavy red flags when you are buying an iPhone, which is that on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay, you will see listings for brand new iPhone models and they're super cheap. They seem so appealing. However, guys, you should not buy new iPhones unless they are from a reputable website or you have money back protection because this is a fake iPhone box. This is a real iPhone box and it is literally impossible to tell they have the same texture, they have the same text, just everything has been done perfectly. And if you were to buy this from Facebook Marketplace, you meet someone in person, there really is nothing you can check. I mean, yes, the text is a slightly different font, but unless you have a real iPhone box next to you, you're really not gonna be able to tell the difference. Now, when you do unbox the phone, the fake iPhone has this like cardboard falling out but you would only know that if you unbox the device and some fakes don't even have this. So if you are trying to buy a new iPhone, I would only buy it from a place where you have money back protection so you can get a refund if you are scammed. Another red flag is you can see the serial number is showing on this fake iPhone and the scammers, they'll tell you, just put the serial number into Apple's website. It will confirm if it's real or fake. We know this iPhone is fake, However, after putting in the serial number, it shows on Apple's own website as a genuine iPhone model. How does that work? Well, what the scammers do is these fake iPhones, they will steal the serial number off of a real iPhone. Uh, because this is a fake iPhone, it's running a fake operating system, they can just fake the serial number so that it shows up as a a real iPhone, so if you go on Apple's website, it will work. With that important information out of the way, the right iPhone is fake, the left iPhone is a real genuine model. This video also applies to the newer iPhones like 17 Pro Max, 18 Pro Max, etc. because real iPhones run Apple's iOS operating system, fake iPhones run Android operating system, and so we can just do checks to see are we running the real Apple iOS or are we running the Android. So first of all, looking at the phone's design, the iPhones have a symmetrical bezel. So what that means is you can see the screens here and then the gap between the edge of the screen to the side of the phone is completely symmetrical all the way across. If you look at my finger, just that gap is completely symmetrical and it gives a nice display experience. Now on the fake iPhone, what you will notice as you can see, we have a tiny gap here, a tiny bezel, and then when we go to the bottom, we have this big chin. So you can see, look at that big black gap between the screen and the side of the phone. That is asymmetrical. That would be an immediate sign that the phone is fake. But we don't want to just take our words, you know, just look at that. We can go a lot further. So there are a couple of checks you can do to see if you're running iOS or Android. The first one, I want you to open up the settings app and at the very top, you will either see Apple account or sign into your iPhone. And so let's tap on this one and let's see what happens. So on the real iPhone and on the fake, we do both have the login option so we can log in. However, there's going to be one key difference, which is that on a real iPhone, if you put in your real Apple email, but then put in a fake password, you will notice the sign in attempt will be refused. Apple account is incorrect. And then once I type in the correct password, it will sign me in. However, on the fake iPhone, let's put in a real email. So I'll put them in my real email. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna put in a fake password. This is not my real password. But when I tap on sign in, it signs me in immediately. There's no checks, instantly signs in. You can see my email is at the very top. We can also go further. So I'm gonna sign in to my real iPhone. After signing into iCloud, if I just tap on my name at the top, you will see on the genuine iPhone, it brings me into the iCloud options. And you know, I can tap into iCloud here. I can change all of my settings, but my 
fake iPhone on the right, you can see I'm signing in and it's not showing me any extra iCloud options. So if it looks anything like the iPhone on the right, where it's just not working, then immediately it is a fake iPhone. Moreover, once you have signed into iCloud, maybe some other fake iPhone does let you sign in. Let's check iMessage and FaceTime. So on genuine iPhone, we need to head into apps and then we'll look for messages. So we'll look for messages and we'll just tap on this one. Now, while the fake iPhone doesn't have that apps option, older iPhones just show messages at the home page of settings. So if messages are just right here, that on its own is not a red flag. What well, is, is in the genuine iPhone, I have the iMessage toggle and I can turn this guy off and on and you can see waiting for activation and it will also show my iCloud email. You can see send and receive right there or it will just let you sign in if you tap on this. However, the fake iPhone does not show my iCloud email. There's no sign in option at all. Moreover, you can tell friend or family member who also has an iPhone, tell them to go into the uh, messages app, so messages app right here, and just tell them to send a message through messages app to your iCloud email. So whatever you see in iMessage settings, this email right here, just tap here, whatever email it says there, tell them to send you a message from their phone. And if it's received on your iPhone, it's genuine. If it sends on their phone, that's also a good sign. However, if you don't see anything on your iPhone, it most likely also is a fake. You can also do the same with FaceTime. Inside of FaceTime, you can take a look you can see here, there's actually no sign-in option on the fake iPhone. This doesn't let you. On the real iPhone, if I go into FaceTime, so I just look for FaceTime, it will show your can be reached by and your Apple account. And you can see your Apple account options. On the fake iPhone, it doesn't even let you sign in. Though sometimes it will let you sign in with any account. But if someone can't FaceTime you with that email, then it most likely is gonna be a fake. But there's some more checks. If you're not sure, keep on watching. The next thing to check is if we go inside of the App Store, we can go to our homepage or App Store. So just tap on Today and then tap the, I don't know what's doing there, it's glitching out now. But tap your profile at the top right and it should show your Apple account all the option to sign in. On a fake iPhone, there's no option. Also, we can just check for Apple exclusive applications. So let's search for in the, in the App Stores for the iMovie. So iMovie is an iOS exclusive app. So if I go to iMovie, you can see no results on the fake iPhone, but iMovie is showing in the real iPhone, I can download it. We can try another application, which is iPhone only, which is the GarageBand. So we'll search GarageBand on both. You can see on real iPhone, it's showing up. On fake iPhone, you will see no results. It means the iPhone is fake. Another check we can do is check the default Apple applications and see what happens. So I'm going to open up the Maps app and watch this. So on Apple Maps, I load up Maps and you can see it loads into the Maps app and there's just, it doesn't plaster Google, right? There's no Google, stuff like that. If I tap my profile, it's showing my Apple account. However, on fake iPhones, because they run Android, they have to use the Android version of apps. So let's open up Maps here and you can see the Google logo. See Google logo there? It's loading up Google Maps. So what they've done is they've changed the app icon to look like Apple Maps, but when you open it, it actually opens up Google Maps. You see what, what they've done there? So if it opens up Google Maps, you can see there's a Google sign-in immediately, and then there's like an ad account. This, this just wouldn't show on a real iPhone, and it's running very slow because these fake iPhones, they're basically really cheap Androids with like a, and then they kind of like fake it to look like the iOS. So you can see, I mean, you know, obviously something's wrong there, but it's not just the Maps app. Every single app is gonna be an Android version. So if I can get to my home screen here, let's say I open up the news app. They have the same icon, but when I open this one up, you can see welcome to Apple News on the real iPhone and on a fake, it's going to open up another app. So let's wait a little bit because it's taken a while. But you can see this weird interface. If I tap on the me here, 
So I tap on me. You'll see this is Apex News. So this is not Apple News, this is Apex News. So this is a different news app. And there's like this weird login here. This just, this is not how Apple News looks like at all. You can see Apple News, even says Apple News at the top left. On this one, this is Apex News, completely different app. So this is typically the theme you will see, but those are the two easiest apps. Like some apps, they'll be pretty hard to tell. If I go to Notes app, it looks like virtually the same. Like it's, it's pretty like, I mean, it's a Notes app. They, they did a pretty good copy in that one. Now at this point, it's pretty obvious if we have a real or fake iPhone. However, if you're still not sure, there's two bulletproof points we can do. Number one is if you have any family members who are younger, then you know they'll most likely be able to tell pretty quickly by just looking at your phone. Or you could, you know, they could look at your phone and look at this video, and they'd probably be able to tell pretty quickly which one is real or fake. The second of all, if you have a computer, what you can do is this. So what you do is you download the iTunes software. This is made by Apple. You can see apple.com forward slash iTunes. And just download this software on Windows. On Mac, it is built in to another app called Finder. So on Windows, you open up iTunes app. On Mac, you open up Finder. And you just get your iPhone here and just connect it to your computer. So use the charging cable, plug it to the computer, and then it might say trust. See, so trust this computer. Just tap on trust and then trust the connection. And then what it should do is it should show the iPhone right here. You can see Alf's iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's what happens with a real iPhone. Now, if I do the same with a fake iPhone, it won't be recognized by iTunes. So I plugged it into the computer and on iTunes, it's just not showing the iPhone. So if you aren't sure, the iTunes check is pretty concrete. Now, sometimes there's glitches that can happen where iTunes won't recognize a real iPhone. So if it looks very obvious you have a real iPhone, but for whatever reason it's not being recognized in iTunes, don't worry about that too much. But if you think you have a fake iPhone and it's not being recognized in iTunes, then it's probably because you have a fake device. So I think it helps out a lot when you have a fake iPhone and a real iPhone side by side to compare to. Instead of me showing a real iPhone and then like looking what, what, what a fake might do, we can look at the fake iPhone, we can see exactly what they're doing to make it look fake. And real quick, if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful, thank you. Let me know also, is your iPhone real or is it fake? I'd be curious about that. If it's fake, you're gonna have to try and get your money back uh, whatever means necessary and any questions any concerns just let me know in the comments I will try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye. Bye